witchery and what are the most important things for us to spend our time on energetically? I think this would be a good topic for a chat, don't you? Welcome back everyone, I'm Witch Hazel and today I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat about hearth witchery and a few little bits and bobs about spell casting and intent. And why I'm doing this as a random chat is because you may have noticed I did not put out a video last week. Even though I had the best of intentions, I had on my little calendar here, I had exactly what I wanted to put out. And I had throughout the day before my video, my recording time, I had worked it all out in my head. It was beautiful. I had everything just kind of mentally scripted and I want to talk about this, this and this. It was beautiful. And then I sat down to record it. Gone, gone, totally gone. I mean, really, this has never happened to me like that before. It was just, I couldn't even remember what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> it was terrible. So, I decided to take that as a sign and said, well, I guess there's no video this week. So this week, instead of trying to go back and reorganize what I thought I wanted to do, it's the last Wednesday of the month and I am just going to say, you yeah, know what, better luck next month and today we're having a chat. So hearth witchery. I do know that is something I wanted to talk about last week. and specifically because of the themes that I want to get into in the upcoming videos, I've had a lot of conflict, mental conflict about some of the themes I want to talk about because they delve into some other concepts or themes in, in other channels that I don't know that I want to get mixed up in. And this is not a bad thing. What I'm talking about is stuff like finances. Um, money spells, they're all over the place out there. And I have some very specific views on finances and witching in relation to your finances. And it's important to me. It's something very important in what I do in my witchy practice. But I find myself a little bit worried about delving too far into other YouTube realms that I don't really have an interest in being involved in. So uh, finance is one. Um, sort of relationships might be on there, sort of. Maybe not, that would be bottom of the ladder item. And then the other thing would be household. And that one is the next massively important thing to me in my witchy life is the household. And that's what I want to start with today. And this is why I bring up a hearth witch. A hearth witch to me is basically a household witch. It is a witch with a focus on the most important aspects of the home. Meaning, making sure that our space is a magical space, is a welcoming and positive energy space. And for me, again, this has a lot to do with all of my, I guess, the values from childhood on that I grew up with and my personal ideals, which many people, or I'll start that a different way, which I try not to mention too often because many people today will tell me I am old fashioned or conservative or I need to be what more independent, more feminist something <laughs> because I really enjoy the idea of keeping house. Not all aspects of it. I am a little bit of a snob. I really do not like cleaning. <laughs> not, not the deep cleaning. I, I don't mind tidying, but not the deep cleaning. And I have very little patience for cooking because I live by myself. But I can cook. 
and I can clean. What I'm talking about is the aspect of housekeeping, which is being a hostess. This has always been the most interesting ultimate goal item for me since I was a little kid. I always wanted to be that 50s housewife hostess, invite people into my home, cook for other people, provide a warm and welcoming space. Being a hearth witch means tending to my home, keeping it in guest readiness and ensuring that it is a positive place to be, which is why that spell I did in my last video is so important. I want to keep up the positive energy in this space wherein I live. So that is what I think being a hearth witch is. Now, the problem that I encounter when I think about speaking more about this is I started to think of, okay, well, what are the additional most important things in my craft that I focus on? And it tends to be mainly finance and then a little bit of other things, but let me focus on the finance. If you think about it, this is one of probably the top two things in my mind that people are the most obsessed about because we all want a certain level of financial comfort. And this is not necessarily because we're greedy, but because we do not want to feel stressed or as though we're suffering in some way. And because so much of our lives revolves around money, then money is the big thing that tends to cause the biggest problems and the biggest stress. So that's really what I focus the most of my intention on, is maintaining a positive space and also striving toward a sense of financial security that will allow for improving upon that positive space. So what I've decided to do for upcoming videos is I'm going to ask you first. I will start in on what I can with the hearth witch part of things to include what I do with my version of kitchen witchery and, and house clearing and all of that. But I want to know what your opinion is on whether or not I should mention financial witchcraft. I have actually had a massive amount of success with my financial witching. So this is something that I think ought to be shared and I think it is very important. But again, I don't want to delve into themes and concepts that are just going to cause dissent within my either my subscribers or other folks in YouTube land. So please do let me know what you think of this idea. All right. I have no idea if I made any sort of sense in this video, but <laughs> that's why we're calling it a chat, right? So if you enjoyed the video, please do remember to like it and or subscribe if you want to hear more from me and these videos. And until next week, blessed be everyone.